Greetings, Kevin Carney here with GameDemo.com talking about Life is Feudal, grinding out the flux. Uh, if you're new to this, get ready, you're in for an adventure. You're going to need a good solid three hours of looking for herbs to generate a bunch of flux. If you got buddies, that's great. Um, have them help you, throw everything in a bag. And then unfortunately, or like a community bag, and then unfortunately just bring everything over to one person. Go off find some place where you feel secure and alphabetize them into uh, another bag. If you're using a community bag, when people throw it in, if they alphabetize it, it might look alphabetized for them, but unfortunately it's not for you. So you can only use um, the bag you know, your bag is the only bag that's going to keep it alphabetized. So, um, so just have one person do this at a time, drag everything over into your bag, drop it and, uh, um, alphabetize them. And here you go. So you see, I got up here, uh, there's a, and then it goes B, C, D all the way down. And then I start up here and I go M N O P and I go down uh, a bunch of them are missing because I'm getting on the tail end of this. A couple buddies have gone ahead of me, so I don't have all the herbs. But um, I'm going through the list. So once you get that uh, alphabetized, then you're going to need a mortar and pestle. And you're going to have to start looking for flux. But while, what I recommend is you either go on Life is Feudal uh, Facebook page or look for on uh, Game Demo page. I'll try to put a link up on the video for... Uh, uh, a, a spreadsheet that somebody put out. I would give them credit if I knew who it was, but it was on the Life is Feudal uh, site uh, Facebook page, and that's where I grabbed it from. But um, it's Herbalism Tool, and then I rename it, and I put it on um, uh, Google Documents. I save it on my uh, or Google Drive. So um, so you, you're just going to grind it out. you got to find flux. We're looking for flux because that's important. If you haven't figured that out yet, you're in for a treat, and it's going to be a long grind finding it. So once you go through, you uh, what you do is, and this is very, very, very important, you take an item like, let's see here, where am I? I am down on my Fs, and those are my Fs, I believe, yes. So I'm going to bring over my whole F line. I'm dragging it over here. Very, very, very important. They have to be in your inventory in order for this to work. It might look like it's working, but it's not if you drag it straight from the drop, drop box over to the mortar and pestle and try to start mixing. Bad, bad, bad. So make sure everything is over in your inventory before you start doing this. Go through combinations, and as the combinations come through, you're going to eventually figure out what each item is. And just keep going through until you hit the lottery and you get one that's flux. So here you go on this XML file. You'll be able to see that you're able to select. Well, let me do it here. This one is damage uh, hard stamina. So you s select the arrow and you just pick damage hard stamina, okay? So as you go through the list, just keep going over here. Like I've got a split screen. You could put it in window mode and just go back and forth. It's going to be a grind. It's going to take a lot of effort, but just keep doing it. So then uh, once you get that done, then you uh, you eventually hit pay dirt and you get a flux. So right there you can see I finally hit flux. Thankfully, I've got a lot of them. There's 19 there, so that's uh, that's my flux. So now what you do is you got to go um, start all over again um, now that you have the flux. And what I do, I've already gotten down to my... Uh, uh, F list and then you what I've done is I've modified the um, uh, HML doc or the um, XML file and I've just put on red lines so the red lines means I've tried this and it doesn't have flux for the first slot I'm not sure if if you have it in notice this is in the first slot up here I'm not sure if it will populate the second or the third uh, I don't believe it does. So what I've done is this is just for the second and the third flux um, um, slots. So uh, like, let's see, uh, this creates uh, food flavor. Well, I know that's not going to create a flux in that slot. That's the first slot. So I put a red there and I don't even bother trying. 
And then I go down and I, unfortunately I don't have any of those. So I skip that one, leave it blank until I come down and then I find one that creates flux like these two right here creates flux. And then in this, this block, I just make a, a green. So I know that those are flux and I go down the whole list. Like I go down A, B, C, D, just making sure that this line is flux. Hopefully somewhere in there, you may come across a combination where slot two is flux and you repeat the process for, slot, uh, for um, slot two to see if you have flux. Um, I don't know if that's completely necessary with the step, but that's the way I do it. And so far it's been working for me. Uh, I had finished, this was completely populated. I knew what exactly I needed and then the server crashed and it never came back. Happy times. So anyway, um, so going back. So when I'm done with this slot one, all I do is move this uh, column over and then I've just reworded it and I put slot two here so I know which slot is what. And then I go down through the same process there. So just to show you what I mean, all right, so we're gonna be starting in the Fs and I'm gonna look at this dude right here. He looks like a little, um, I don't know, looks like a kernel of corn or something. So I'm here and there's flux. These are all the things that this creates. So you wanna be real careful. We don't wanna create one of these things. So if the unknown effect pops up with something, don't hit craft because you're just gonna be burning one of the things that create flux to create one of the crap things that you don't want right now. So, um, so this is an unknown effect. So we're gonna click craft because that might create flux. There's a possibility. Notice that slot's empty. Come on, Barry. No, nada. It didn't create anything, but the good news is that's one less that we have to deal with. So I come over here, I right click on that. I go down to format cell. I click red tab, I click okay. And now that's red. And now I know that that one is not gonna generate flux in there. So no need to keep looking at it. So I move on to the next. So we got this little fern thing going here. So thankfully I've got one of those. So I drag it over and I drop it there. Now you may be wondering, well, why don't you drop it in this slot too to try to amplify how many things you're actually looking at. The problem is it creates a risk of actually burning one of the herbs, creating one of the garbage things that you don't want. In the beginning, you can do that. Once you do open up three slots, when you don't have any flux, you can go through the variations until you finally find flux. And then you want to get a little more conservative with how many herbs you're actually burning to create stuff. So anyway, this is an unknown. It has an empty slot. We're crafting. And boom, no known effect. So that's another one off the table. So it didn't create anything. Had it created something, then I would populate one of these fields with whatever it did, but it didn't create flux. So we click red and boom, we're done with that one. Now we got this little blueberry thing, drag the blueberry over, drop it in there. Notice it doesn't create anything that we don't want. It's still an unknown effect. So, and that first slot's still open. So we'll click craft, see what happens. Come on, baby. Does this seem like it's taking a long time? <laughs> well, if you wanna play this game, it's gonna drag on and on. So, uh, and that's just the process you have to go through. I'm, the reason for the video is, this is what I've come up with. It seems to work for me and hopefully it's more efficient and you'll be able to, uh, it'll help you uh, not waste your time trying to find variations that, uh, or doing the same thing over and over again. Now, if, uh, let's make sure this is that. It's, uh, yeah, so we drag it in. We'll just, uh, maybe we'll get something here. If not, I'll end the video before I go over 10 minutes. And survey says, oh, oh my God, woohoo! Just for you guys, just for this video. There it is, it created flux, flux. So I go here to my little cherry thing and I'm gonna put that in as flux. I'm gonna have a little happy dance. I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to format cell green, meaning that I've got flux in there. So there it is. And um, how many of those do I have? I have three of those. So technically I could just keep hitting it right now and generate three more flux, but you don't want to do that. You want to be conservative right now. You're trying to, um, you're trying to uh, uh, figure out what does create flux. So don't burn that all away saying, oh, I'm going to create a ton of flux. 
right now with those and burn them all up. Just be conservative, go through the whole list until you're all finished and you know what, what does what. So anyway, hopefully you found this beneficial and uh, it's uh, gamedemo.com, life is futile. Out.